All right, I'm out here in the desert. Today is February 21st, 2024. And just off uh, Cache Creek Road, off the 58. And uh, my goal today is to uh, head back up into the mountains and climb Middle Knob, which I think is straight ahead. So there's a little bit of a, a dirt road that heads up into the mountains. We got Middle Knob. We got East Knob, which uh, depending on how muddy it is, I might uh, climb East Knob as well. And then I believe that is West Knob, but that is probably too many miles to hit today. Um, middle and East Knob together plus this little desert walk is probably going to be about 12 13 miles so uh west knob would add another four so it's i don't want to do 17 miles today so we're gonna certainly try for middle knob and then uh maybe east knob oh. the sun popped out and i was already roasting I had a lot of layers on because it could be probably in the 30s up there with some wind but uh, that was going to be a little bit cooler down here but like in the 40s but it feels a lot warmer I see a vehicle making their way up the road there that's the road I'll be taking. I wonder where they're going. Whew. All right, after a, probably almost two miles, I've arrived at the base of the mountains finally. the roadway down there gained uh, probably almost 900 feet I still have a couple thousand to go as the road starts heading up it should be a bit steep or well, steeper but still not too bad there's also a lot of like the alternate routes that probably people on mountain bikes use even though they try to close it off <laughs> but uh, I think I'll stick to the road I didn't bother bringing a hiking pole with me so I don't want to do anything too steep it's a nice road so far the road uh, down the desert I didn't want to drive too much on a dirt road. There's a lot of rocks and stuff, but with the four-wheel drive and high clearance, it's uh, very doable. But this, once you get to the mountain, even my car can make it up this. We'll see how long it lasts. Maybe they recently graded it. past uh, the truck that I saw coming up. I guess he pulled over and is relaxing. Maybe a little canyon down there.
we've reached the, the desert tree line. And now I can say I've left the desert. Whew. Almost to the ridge line. Starting to fly out a little bit. All right, reached uh, the ridge line. About an hour forty minutes. Are heading towards middle knob right is east knob east knob is about three quarters of a mile away middle is about a one mile hike we just walk over here and get a little view of the other side East knob first, it's closer, get that out of the way, and then I'll head back and do middle knob. Tiring and formidable than I hoped. <laughs> As a big knob. Oh, I hope it's not too muddy. So it's pretty flat up here. I think. Oh, look, snow. <laughs> yeah, that's from a previous storm. I think I'm on the summit of East Knob, uh, views aren't that great. <laughs> Although, I don't know if there's a register up here. I guess, I don't know where the true summit is. I have no idea. Uh, the climb up, oh, at least the wind is a little bit better in this little alcove. Well, uh, I don't know. It's all flat up here. This is, uh, this is the summit of East Knob. Uh, I mean, there might be a register. There probably is, actually. But the heck if I know where it is. I don't know if this is picking up on camera. 
but this might be, I guess it's probably just dust, but there are clouds skimming past this mountain pretty fast. It's probably just dust being picked up, but there's a we are just about at the cloud level. Also kind of a little fun factoid. Last uh, January I did a, a hike up uh, Barren Ridge down in the, the desert. And this is basically, this whole ridge line I'm on right now is basically like an extension of Barren Ridge. You could walk on Barren Ridge and just kind of walk all the way up to where I am right now. Um, it'd be <laughs> quite a far walk, but but uh, yeah, it's just one long ridge line. Whew. Those clouds zooming by. Heading back down from East Knob. Took a nice break. There's a uh, middle knob and then uh, shrouded in clouds is West Knob. East Knob was about 5,900 something feet and then I believe Middle Knob is about 6,200. down that way. I'm going to go this way and see where this goes. Past uh, the intersection again down there. Now officially heading towards the middle knob. Ooh, don't want to drive on this. <laughs> this road needs some maintenance. I need a jeep for this one. I'm gonna continue right on MK10. This does meet back up with MK10 it looks like, but let's do something a little easier. I'll take the easy way. <laughs> so it looks like I started off by uh, the Cache Creek Road down there. I believe that dirt road all the way to the base of the mountain was MK1 and then once I started climbing the mountain I believe it turned into MK10 and then once you get to the top of the ridge line I took MK14 um, to the right and headed up East Knob and came back down but uh, at the intersection there MK10 makes a left turn and I'm still on MK10 there's also an MK16 that kind of descends back down the other side that's a nice view.
Oh, there's a uh, last month. There's there's Cross Mountain. I was up there last month. That's neat. I don't know what it is. Clouds are still moving, but ever since uh, I started heading up towards the Middle Knob, the wind just stopped. It has been nice and quiet. I'm sure I'll pick up again once I go around a bend or something, but it has been uh, nice. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. Is the snow. I'm almost uh, at the top is this is like right over here. I think it's another relatively flat. Flat top. But I'm gonna just follow this road until it stops ascending and then I'll head to the top. Make it as easy as possible. Is the top of the road, so let me just find a, a good place to just scoop my way to the summit. I think I left the, the road too early. I was a little off course. I was hoping there would be a, a little use trail or something. This is uh, really tough to wade through. Can't get, can't get through here. I don't know. I think the summit has to be this way. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. Ah. I was hoping to I'm not going on any bushwhacking adventures. Uh, all right, I think I bushwhack, bushwhacked my way to Middle Knob. <laughs> Definitely don't follow my route. <laughs> I planned on uh, 0 0.08 bushwhacking miles. Well over a quarter mile of bushwhacking, so not great. Uh, the summit is here somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere here. This has to be the summit of Middle Knob. Including East Knob, about three and a half hours to do both. Uh, I imagine there should be a register. Let me drop my stuff and I'll just take a look around. All right, so the views aren't great because of all the trees. I mean, you can walk around and try to get better views, but tired of bushwhacking so <laughs> this is good enough 
So summit of Middle Knob is the Antelope Valley. of snow and that is uh, the, the high point should be the snob so look how look how much further that is that is at least another two miles each way so this was already I think seven and a quarter doing east knob and middle knob and that doesn't count you know it's gonna be another probably five and a half miles down so I'm looking at about 13 miles, but at least uh, the clouds cleared so I can see stuff a little bit. I think I'm just going to head back down to the road and take a break there because uh, it's much less windy down there. Uh, so yeah, it took like two minutes to get back. It was like one bushy spot. <laughs> and I'm back on the road. That was, uh, yeah. So, I definitely left the road way too early. So, yeah, anyone following my route, uh, take the one that's further west, not the one that's heading up to the east, because that one is terrible. Unless you like bush bushwhacking, then go ahead. I think I have uh, plenty of video looking out at the desert, but I don't have enough looking across this side. Kind of little hidden mountains back here. I don't, I don't think very many people get back here to see these. I think that might be... Quote me on that one. I think that's uh, private property that owned by the wind farm. I think everything's owned by the wind farm here, <laughs> unfortunately. the shape from this angle, but that should be Chuck Wallace. I think uh, on the way down, I'll take this MK15 shortcut. Why not? Yeah. It's gonna be steep. Uh. out of the canyon there. That is steep. And there's the road winding down. I 
made it back off the mountains. A couple miles back to my car. I made pretty good time today. We'll see what I end up at. It should be probably just a, a hair under 13 miles. car started no after eight and it is now 1 30 so that was a very quick hike I uh, was aiming for seven hours and uh, significantly beat that so Whew. Five and a half.